In our last video, we looked at how to connect to a database, the basic requirements needed to connect to a database, and we looked at how to create a database and a table in phpMyAdmin. Now we're going to look at how we can edit what we created. Now, this is the whole thing we created in our last video from ID to username. Now you can decide to you can decide to edit a particular column here from your structure tab on your page you might mean so now when you want to do that you quickly you see change here right here you see change now you can edit individually and you can decide to edit all at the same time according to how you check mark them here now the ones you check mark you can edit, edit them by clicking here but if you did not check mark it you can decide to just click on change and it brings out a column for you to make changes to it okay so if you want to move the column some steps down or after a particular column to the right sorry or to the left then you can choose that on the move column um as region there okay so after everything you can decide to click um you can decide to click on save to save what you're doing now you can decide to go through all of this to get more um, knowledge about what some of them mean and then when you get there you also understand what is happening and how it works okay so we'll save that and you can decide to click on the id and make it a primary key okay now i've made it a primary key do you want to execute the following query now this is why i like php my admin now it gives you the sql code of what you are trying to do okay without you typing it manually now this is very good for beginners of sql that don't know how to write sql code that much that means you are not alone you can see use this program and you do your thing perfectly well now when i click yes you discover that the query has been run successfully and the id field now becomes my primary key okay so you can decide to change the view of your um the structure of your table okay now if you don't like it that way you can bring it back to normal now you can decide to add more columns either to the end of the table right here or to the beginning of the table or after a particular column and here you decide how many columns you want to add okay so that is it for there and let's quickly add some data and let's see how that works now to insert data we can use our php um script or code to insert data to the database but if you don't want to do that you can also decide to insert it manually and to do that you just click on insert right here and you have the opportunity to insert what you want now we we'll leave id field because we've set it to auto increment now here we we'll set this to virtual already so the only thing you have to do is to work with the value um column here so here we have um thomas occasion so here we have occasion and here we have um the atoms at yahoo.com okay so password let's say um my terms one two three okay and then username let's say that terms all right now this is a particular a field that now i can decide to fill this as well let's say this is clement let's just say let's just fill two fields here and let's click on go okay now you see when it inserts it it gives you the sql code used to run that particular or execute that particular script okay now you can decide to generate a php code here and you see it gives you a nicely arranged php code without you stressing yourself that you want to type anything so you can use this in your php script if you want to make your work faster and maybe change one or two things to variables so that they will be dynamic okay so that is it um you can decide to browse so that you see the structures or the data that you inserted into your database now when you browse you see the data there you can decide to delete a particular one here you can decide to edit and maybe append to that particular row or you can decide to copy the row that is duplicated okay 
now you can decide to export your table if you want to you can decide to delete it in sql it's called drop table and you can decide to alter the table or change the table here okay now take a look at this there are other things here privileges operations triggers take a look at them and um, play with them get to understand how they work because we're not going to be talking about all of them so um, in the next video we'll be looking at how to um, connect to the database and connect to the server using php i think this will give my sql for now and uh, we'll be talking about it as we continue with the course so i'll see you in the next